Hello and welcome to yet another video and in this video it is something different because I'll be talking about the Peak Design cuff which is pretty much this wrist strap right here. I will also be unboxing this um, brand new one which I got for the other camera. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So as some of you know, I really don't like straps at all, whether it's neck strap or wrist straps, but lately I've been doing a lot of the photo shoot videos for you guys, and to be honest, I really enjoy making them. And the neck straps were actually just getting like too much in the way of my GoPro that was filming behind the screen for you guys, that I actually decided to go with the um, wrist strap. I just think it's a much simpler uh, solution to go for, and um, I will also be unboxing one right here. After I broke my 85 1.2, um, this actually got repaired. I actually got a replacement, which is pretty much on the shelf behind me. But um, I decided to actually go for two mirrorless cameras uh, rather than actually risking breaking the camera when I'm actually changing, sorry, breaking any of my equipment rather, uh, when I'm actually changing lenses or other accessories, maybe it's batteries or something like that. So I would just have one here and one here or just uh, shooting. So yeah. On my R6, I actually have the black version. I decided to go for the Peak Design, uh, not only because of, well, the minimalistic design, it's quite nice and simple, it's a very tough design as well, but also nowadays, a lot of brands are kind of copying Peak Design to the actual anchor design. So there are other accessories nowadays from other brands that uses pretty much the same design, the anchor design here that I can actually just mount on, should I really like it or not. So yeah, let's first unbox this um, wrist band or wrist strap, however you call it really. Uh, they call it cuff, um, straightforward. So yeah, anyway, um, when you first get the box, you can actually just see the actual uh, strap right there and then there you go and there should actually be like a pouch as I remember or an anchor like an extra anchor so nothing else in the box here is what you get the uh, extra accessories like the tripod that they make the bags and other things and yep you get a pouch with it as well and inside there should be another anchor I really don't use their pouch that often. Yeah, there's another anchor right here. Um, they call it anchor, which is quite uh, an interesting name, but yeah. And then here is the actual strap, which you have to kind of unlock from the back. Okay, and you also have to pretty much untie it. So anyway, let me just, okay, and it's out. And the way I like to actually mount uh, these straps is actually through these, um, holes so i also have these plates that actually locks onto like these capture clips on both of my cameras and i actually like to just to tie one of the anchor to like one of the bottom holes some people uh don't use the anchor clip they can actually still tie it to maybe other tripod plates that has holes or just like to the um the part here where normal neck strap would go uh, this is actually not from Peak Design, it's from another brand, which I forgot, but to be honest, it's actually the same size, same design, just without the Peak Design logo, and it's much cheaper, and I quite like it as well, much more than the original Peak Design, but um, yeah, the accessories from Peak Design do fit under these, um, I would say, knockoff anchors. That being said, be careful what um, brand you go for. Some of the knockoff brands are just really low quality and will not hold the weight that much, it doesn't really matter if um, you're using a much lighter camera system or setup, but if you're using like a heavier camera setup, like the um, heavier mirrorless, like, um, I don't know, the A9 Mark II with the battery grip or the uh, EOS R5, R6 with the 85 1.2, things like that, then you might want to invest in, you know, either the original Anchor or look for a proper brand that has some sort of the same similar design. Um, so it's a little bit more secure and the quality is also more um, secure. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, this is the actual uh, wristband, well, wrist strap. It's the uh, dark blue version. It's quite nice. What I like about their design is actually the, with the material that they have, even if you have like a heavy camera setup, um, it's actually not really gonna hurt your wrist, actually. So you can actually just use it and the lock actually works quite well. I'm gonna put my um, 
wrist inside, it just locks right away like this. So when you let go of your camera, it doesn't just fall out of your wrist right away, which is a nice safety feature that I really like. And it's only the single but really, really strong strap and it's also pretty good. Oh, by the way, with the anchor, um, if you use one of those like really heavy setup cameras and if you find that your anchor strap really runs or anchor string here really wears out very often, if you start seeing some yellow colors, uh, they actually re like recommend you to actually change it. So yeah, but otherwise, I really highly recommend this strap. Um, if you really just want to be minimalistic, just one camera, one lens, just go out. And if you don't like, if you're the type of person who doesn't really care about their gear that much, this is very, very secure. Um, to some point, I actually have to um, really force it out. So you can actually trust that the lock will be very um, sturdy and also will not let go of uh, the strap. So yeah, there's that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much a straightforward video. Um, if you're really curious about if this anchor is strong enough, the tag here actually says that it will um, carry the force up to 90 kilograms. So I think uh, if you're only using like a five kilogram setup or um, I don't know, a 10 kilogram setup max, then it will definitely do the work because it seems to also be very, very strong. Will it wear out? Maybe eventually, like after quite a few years, but I think um, you're most likely gonna keep it for a really, really long time, especially when you're just buying this strap and they already give you like two anchors. So you can actually use it on other straps as well. So other accessories or other equipments that you might want to use the actual wrist strap with. So let's say if you have like a third, four, ca fourth cameras and you just wanted to, you know, just hook this up onto the other cameras, then it's also totally fine because not everyone takes the same camera out every day. So yeah, there is that. Overall, after using this black version for quite a while now, I actually really, really like it because even though when it's you know, clip over here with the uh, capture clip. It's actually a really, really nice and minimalistic design that it doesn't get in the way of anything. It just hangs there, you barely notice it, and it doesn't really show up in, on the GoPro either because I have the chest mount here and it's just pretty much kind of either on the side or stuck behind the GoPro rather, because you have to remember the chest mount is another plate over here and then the GoPro is kind of in the front. So if you're doing something similar to me, you don't need to worry that this strap might get in the way, whether you're trying to film um, your camera when you're taking pictures or if the camera is hanging on like a capture clip. So yeah, I really highly recommend it if you're looking for or a um, some sort of wrist strap and just because it's not really spongy doesn't mean it's not soft it's a very nice and soft yet very sturdy material I'm not paid by them I was actually very skeptical skeptical about this product in the very beginning but you know after using it for a long time whether it's with my 7200 f2.8 uh, whether it's on my 1dx or on the EOS R6 or the R with the battery grip. I just really like the feeling of the strap. You don't really feel the, um, the force of the weight of the camera pulling down on your wrist, simply because how well and soft edges this strap has and also the material is. Apparently, when it comes in the box, there's actually this little stitching line here that the, um, the strap goes a little bit over and it's a very thick point if you wanna lock. So I guess it's another safety feature that if you don't want the strap to automatically lock onto your wrist, then you can just practically, okay, now it's actually on its uh, free movement, but you can actually uh, pull it really hard. And then like when it reaches this part of the uh, strap, then it's also not gonna fall back. So yeah, that's a nice feature that I just figured that out just now. Uh, anyway, that's that. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me and I will do my best to answer. If you need a free photography guidebook, feel free to just click down in the description section below. It's a link, it's on my website, it's absolutely for free. You don't need to submit your email address, nothing, and I will not bombard you with any newsletter nonsense. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Stay safe, till next time. Bye for now.